ओम ज्ञान निरंधस्यान शलाकय चक्षुर नीलित तस्म श्री गुरव Yes, this is the the first verse, which also is repeated as the third and fourth verse of the first chapter, and is explained therein in the purport by Sri Lopapa. The verse goes as follows: Vande Guru Nishabhakta Isham Ishavatarakam Tat Prakasham Chachat Chatti Krishna Taitanya Sangyakam. Translation: I offer my respectful obeisances unto the spiritual masters. Yeah, you have to translate. So this is the first verse of the first chapter of the first section of Adi Lila. This is one day. Chapter one. 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 With translation and commentary by His Divine Grace Shri A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swamikopad, founder of Jaya Nishka. Masters, enemies of the Lord, Bhagat incarnations, sons, our Lord Jesus, our Lord, and the Primeval Lord, and the Primeval Lord Himself, Sri Krishna. Purport, our Lord, right? Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has composed this Sanskrit book, Sanskrit verse for the beginning of his book, and now he will explain it in detail. He offers his respectful obeisances to the six principles of the absolute truth. Six subject matters. Guru is plural in number because anyone who gives spiritual instructions based on the revealed scriptures accepted, is accepted as a spiritual master. Although others give help in showing the way to beginners, the guru who first initiates one with the maha mantra is to be known as the initiator. The saints who give instructions for progressive advancement in Krishna consciousness are called instructing spiritual masters. Are they initiating and instructing spiritual masters are equal and identical manifestations of Krishna, although they have different dealings. Their function is to guide the conditioned souls back home, back to Godhead. Angulode. Therefore, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami accepted Nityananda Prabhu and the six Goswamis in the category of Guru. Isha Bhaktan refers to the devotees of the Lord like Sri Shivas and all other such followers. The energy of the Lord and are qualitatively non-different from Him. Angulode. Isha Avatar Khan refers to our charyas like Advaita Prabhu, who is an avatar of the Lord. Tat Prakashan indicates the direct manifestation of the supreme personality of Godhead, Nityananda Prabhu, and the initiating spiritual master. Tat Chaktihi refers to the spiritual energies, shaktis of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Godadha, Damodha, and Jagadananda belong to this category of internal energy. The six principles are differently manifested, but all equally worshipable. Das Kaviraj begins by offering his obeisances unto them to teach us the method of worshiping Lord Chaitanya. The eternal potency of Godhead, called Maya, that means darkness cannot remain in the presence of light. Bhagavan, yet darkness, being but an illusory and temporary covering of light, has no existence independent of light. Reading of a book, especially such an important and big book. As Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is proper to offer respectful obeisances. Obeisances here are offered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the subject matter of this book, is the supreme absolute truth, who is uh, non-different from Krishna. Just as Krishna is the source of all incarnations, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is non-different from that Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is to be understood. In relation with all his devotees and associates and energies, if we are to understand God, we are to understand Him in relationship to everything else that is in relation that exists, because everything else that exists is in relationship with Him. Now, in one sense, everything that exists is God, and this because nothing can be separated from Him. But this point has to be understood very carefully. Indeed, it is an, an, a major point of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings to properly understand what is the relationship of God with everything else. Everything is non-different from Krishna, but at the same time, we can't say that everything is Krishna, the supreme absolute truth, directly. There is difference also. I have heard about it. 
that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described what is the oneness of the Absolute Truth and yet the differences in his Achintya Bheda Bhed Tattva. Bheda Bhed, not simply Bhed, Bhed Habit. There's Bhed and Abhed, not only Bhed. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has offered obeisances to, not alone, but along with his energies, associates, expansions, and devotees. In the next verse it is stated, Vande Gurun, we first of all offer our obeisances to the Gurus, because the Supreme Absolute Truth is not possible to approach without the help of the Gurus. Because Bhagavan is infinitely great, Bhagavan, and we are infinitesimal. Namo. We have an eternal loving relationship with the Supreme Lord, we are at the present time in a state of forgetfulness of that and rejection of that. And willingly taken a position that is separated from Krishna. In a broader sense, we can never actually be separated from Krishna. But we have chosen a position that is uh, in forgetfulness of Krishna. Confused. We're very far from Krishna. Prabhu has come especially to teach us about our eternal relationship with Krishna. But even to gurus, the gurus they have a, they have relationship with Krishna and they take the uh, devotees, the aspiring devotees, on the path towards Krishna. Subject, we require guidance. In the, to speak of the deepest subject, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes this knowledge of the Absolute Truth as the king of all knowledge, Bhagavad Gita, confidential of all secrets, purest path. So we require guidance to understand who is Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and who are his energies, who are his associates. You, maybe you haven't heard the names of some of the personalities mentioned in this purport. Gadha, you've heard his name because we chant Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadha, Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhaktivinoda. Probably you haven't heard much about him if you haven't read this Chaitanya Charitamrita. Damada mentioned here, well, there are two important Damadas in. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. The prominent of who is Damada Suru, who is uh, non different from Lalita Saki, the most prominent gopi associate of Srimati Radharani. And Jagadananda, you have to read the Chaitanya Charitamrita to hear about the wonderful pastimes of all these devotees. All the uh, manifestations of the spiritual energy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, who come with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to enjoy his pastimes of spiritual bliss, of love of Krishna. Vande Guru, Isha Bhaktan, the obeisances are offered to all the gurus and to the devotees of the Lord. All gurus. But some among the devotees, some particularly take up the service of guiding others. And thus are known as gurus. Isha Bhaktams, Isha Isha Bhaktam, come himself. Then Isha Avatarakan, this refers to the uh, incarnations of the Lord. Isha Um and this here is Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasarakuna. Krishna goes Kaviraj goes Swami except Nityananda Guru. So Tat Prakashan that means uh, the direct manifestation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu is Balaram. Nityananda Prabhu is Balaram. Adi Guru. He is the first expansion of Krishna. Points others towards Krishna. He points others towards Krishna. He directs others. 
go that way towards Krishna. Similarly, Nityananda Prabhu was appointed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to preach, preach Krishna Bhakti. Nityananda Prabhu would wander here and there, simply asking people to chant the names of the Lord. Shuno Shuno Nityananda Shuno Harida Shabatra Amar Agga Karaha Prakash Pati Ghare Ghare Gya Kara E Bhikkha Bhacha Krishna Bala Krishna Kara Krishna Shikha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent Nityananda Prabhu with Haridas Thakur, the Nama Acharya, out to preach. He sent them out to preach door to door in Navadi and told them to make Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's order uh, to broadcast it everywhere. He said you should go door to door as beggars. That, my dear people, you please worship Krishna. Names of Krishna. Krishna And study what are the instructions of Krishna given in Bhagavad Gita. I understand who is Krishna. Krishna. So uh, Nityananda Prabhu was doing this in Navadvipa. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself left Navadvipa and went to reside in Puri. I sent Nityananda Prabhu back to Bengal. You go there and preach Krishna Bhakti. He told Nityananda Prabhu that you teach everyone to chant the names of Krishna. Nityananda Prabhu did that. Nityananda Prabhu Almas Sanjaya. But he especially asked people to chant the names of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauranga, because he thought these names are not different from the names of Krishna anyway. Asha Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Laha Gauranga, Namare, Jajan Gauranga Bhaje, Jajan Mora Pranare. Nityananda Prabhu would say, just like uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that you worship Krishna, chant the name of Krishna, so Nityananda Prabhu would say, Bhaja Gauranga, worship Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, take the, chant the name of Gauranga, Laha Gauranga Namare, take the name of Gauranga. Jajan Gauranga Bhaje, Shri Mora Pranare, Nityananda Prabhu would say that whoever worships Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that person is my very so Nityananda Prabhu would wander here and there in Bengal, accompanied by his associates. Prem Pracharan ar Pashandatalan Dui Kaj Abadhut Karan Brahman. Nityananda Prabhu was known as Abadhut. Nityananda Prabhu means who is situated on a platform beyond the Vedic rules and regulations. Stated about Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Shabhav Shahaj Paga. He was, uh, his nature was generally like that of a madman. The external point of view, he sometimes appeared to be like a madman. He was mad in love of Krishna. So he was known as Abadhut. So he would wander here and there, Prim Prachara, teaching love of Krishna, preaching love of Krishna. Pashanda Dalan, he was subduing the atheists. Because not everybody is fit to hear the message of love of Krishna. People have got many wrong ideas. Yes, everybody in the material world has got many wrong ideas. That's why we're in the material world. If we were loving Krishna, then we would be in the spiritual world and there would be no one to preach to. But we are here in the material world. And we have invented so many <coughs> philosophies to justify our rascal existence. Number one, other word is nonsense. Not of any sense. <laughs> there are so many philosophies in the world. All except one of them is completely nonsense. The only thing that makes any sense is the all the other so-called philosophies are simply excuses for avoiding. Even in the name of religion, people are mostly trying to avoid Krishna. At this season, you'll find lakhs of people in the dressed in black, in heading the for Sabari Mala. In the Samaj Law. So don't put on the floor. <laughs> so this may appear to be very religious. But Actually, these people are not interested in surrendering to Krishna. So, it is apparently religious, but actually it is not of which means to know our relationship with him as eternal servant. Krishna 
So, who is an actual guru, he, like Nityananda Prabhu, teaches what is the actual fact. The actual fact is that we are eternal servants of Krishna. It is a simple point to understand. But because I'm confused by so much garbage, we find it difficult to understand. Therefore, the gurus describe what is the actual philosophy of the Absolute Truth. And point out the defects in the various wrong ideas. Therefore, we should have faith in the Guru and in the Shastra. He teaches according to Shastra. Faith in the Gurus. It is a. to have faith? In. In the Gurus, okay. I heard the word Santosham, which. I didn't say anything about enjoyment. That's why I was wondering why you said it. What did you say enjoyment about? We are enjoined, how you heard enjoy. We are enjoined, we are instructed. And tell the translation. No, no. One who has a firm faith in God and in Guru, to him all the imports of the Vedic scripture is revealed. So actually one should understand what is the meaning of the word Guru. That Guru means there are certain symptoms for testing. Well, you have to test if it's genuine, because if it's not genuine, you're going to get cheated in a big way. So in the same way, uh, if you accept a guru who's not a bona fide guru, then you're going to get very seriously cheated. So a guru should come in a bona fide parampara, teach uh, the absolute truth as taught in Shastra. Practice that, what is stated in Shastra, that's the meaning of our charya. That, uh, what's that? Acharya is tapyatyapi. Swayam Acharya Yasmad Acharya Sten Kirtitaha. Achinoti Yashastratam Acharya Stapyatyapi. Swayam Acharya Yasmad Acharya Sten Kirtitaha. The meaning of Acharya is one who teaches, who according to the uh, meaning of the Shastra. He personally establishes the proper way of behavior by practicing it himself. So, Guru should be in proper parampara. He should teach according to the teachings of the previous Acharyas and according to the Shastra. He personally practice that. And uh, he should teach his disciples according to Shastra. Just like we see Prabhupada was always speaking philosophy. So many books to teach the science of God. So a guru should teach what is Sambandha, Abhideya and Prayojan. Guru that means to understand who is God and what is our relationship with him. Sambandha Abhideya. Abhideya means acting in that relationship. Abhideya means the process of devotional service. Prayojan means our ultimate meaning. Practicing devotion service. In the Bhaktanya Mahaprabhu taught praying prayoja. Our real need is to attain love of Krishna. If we are fortunate enough to come and get the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and receive them in parampara, then we can follow the process of Krishna Bhakti. This is our real need. In modern age, they have made so many extra apparent needs. If you just go on the street, you'll see so many advertisements. They are advertising, buy this, buy that, buy something else. Your life will be better if you use this kind of soap or smoke this kind. So they are promising so many things for your benefit. The purpose of every advertisement, whatever it's for, is only one which is to lift the money out of your pocket. So they, they're advertising, you need so many things. But I, even if you get everything in the material world, 
What is that as well as such things? Now, even if we have nothing in this material world, not even a cloth to wrap around us, but we have love of Krishna, then we'll be fully satisfied in our respects. Because we're not the body. Getting so, so-called possessions in relationship with the body is only illusory. So, jivatma. And the nature of the jivatma, the need of the jiva is love. And love means love for Krishna. So this is taught directly by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself and by the gurus and devotees in the Sampradaya of Chaitanya. Let us take advantage of that teaching. So let us take advantage that simply by chanting Hare Krishna, dedicating our lives to Krishna, we can attain that wonderful thing which cannot be attained by any amount of material endeavor. To uh, be a material success, you have to undergo so many different things. That practically from the beginning of their lives, the children are studying and studying for so many years. And then they have to, after, after graduating, then they have to work so hard so that they can think, I am a success, which is all bogus. What success? You're simply working like an ass. Because you're, a 20, 000, because you're an ass earning 20,000 rupees a month, you think, I'm a success, and someone earning 2,000 rupees a month is not a success. This is all nonsense. Real success means to love Krishna. And to do to love Krishna, you don't have to work like an ass. Open your mouth and say, Hare Krishna. So no need for this intense modern way of life in which everyone is simply engaged in Ugra Karma, horrible activities. Modern life is simply giving everyone so much difficulty. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Chant Hare Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Hare Krishna Shiksha. Means worship Krishna, chant the names of Krishna, and study Bhagavad Gita as it is. Of course, we're caught in this horrible material world. We may have to act at least somewhat according to its diktat. According to our social position, we may be forced practically forced to act in ways that we don't want to. But at least we should understand that the real life is in the spiritual world with Krishna. Singing and dancing with Krishna eternally in the spiritual world. We should endeavor for that. We should chant the holy names of Krishna and follow the process of Bhakti Yoga. And in this way, make sure that we don't have to take birth again in this horrible material world. Go to Krishna, life of any sane person. I love Sane and buddhi. Sane. Sane is a person. There must be a word for sane. In Sanskrit you have. In Sanskrit you have. Unmata or Pramata means. That means one who can analyze between Rome and Rome. Most of the people in the modern world, they are aviveki, they are insane. And therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's representatives, they go to people and tell them, wake up, you fools, you have a double PhD. <laughs> so that woke him up, calling him a fool woke him up. Oh, my dear, highly intelligent person, you please consider why you are actually a fool. That you have a double PhD, but you don't know what the purpose of life is. You are satisfied simply with getting some material facilities. You are going to have to die very soon. Oh, so you're cursing me? Curse or not curse, everyone has to die soon. Because no one will stay here very long. So, kindly consider, are you the body or not? Body is temporary, but you are eternal. So, why are you endeavoring simply to try to make this body comfortable? It will never be comfortable. A very soft bed with silk sheets in an air-conditioned room. If you've got cancer, then how are you going to be comfortable? <laughs> very comfortably dying of cancer. <laughs> this is material life. How oh, avoiding the difficulty of material life. One who is actually intelligent considers all these things. Krishna Consciousness. 
However, one generally can't even begin to think of these things unless he's guided properly or given this knowledge. And uh, to understand properly what is the path of Krishna Bhakti, then one certainly requires guidance. Therefore, Krishna Kaviraj Goswami says, Mantra Guru Ar Jato Shikha Guru Gan Taha Choran Agni Kori Bandar. I first offer my respectful obeisances at the Lotus Feet of my initiating spiritual master and all my instructing spiritual masters. Now and then. So taking shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Parampara system, we can become unfoolish. And foolish is intelligent, but I wanted to stress the point of becoming non foolish. Any questions? People always say. Uh, it immediately it means it's nonsense. <laughs> no need to ask. No need to ask. It's all nonsense. When we follow what Krishna says. Yeah, Krishna says that Krishna says that Krishna says that That means real people, not the foolish people of this material world. Like, uh, we in the material world are given certain degree of independence to make our decisions. I just want to know what level of degree this independence goes to and means uh, how to what extent my degree of independence uh, stress, stresses so that how much my decisions are uh, up to me and how much my decisions are up to my karmas or it's the, the scope of our independence is to choose whether to serve Krishna or not. Now, our uh, vritti or our acquired disposition that is certainly influenced by previous activities and karmas. But that is also based upon our misuse of independence. This, you see, it's a very, uh, our whole consciousness, it's very deeply contaminated from time immemorial. Our basic vritti or disposition is to enjoy this material world. So that everything we see, touch, feel, hear, smell, or taste, or even think about, that, well, that leaves an impression in the consciousness. If you see an advertisement, drink Coca-Cola, so you may think, oh, that's a good idea. So that has created an impression in our consciousness. Walking on the street and there's a shop and there are so many bottles of Coca-Cola which are put out there. And as they know that people have seen the advertisement and when they, they see it's right next to me, I can do it right now, I can enjoy it right now, let me do it. Such a person, he doesn't, who thinks, okay, let me drink a Coca-Cola, he doesn't actually use his, he doesn't use an exalted standard of vivek or discrimination. Simply on the animal platform of, I, will, I want it for my sense enjoyment, I will do it. So these, uh, these sun scars or the impressions in our conscious, they can, they can, they will remain in our conscious, it, it, it aggregates in our consciousness. And that influences our vritti or our disposition. Under certain circumstances, that, though that inclination will manifest as a particular vasana. Or just like if you see the, the bottle of Coca-Cola right in front of you, it comes out, the vasana comes out. It's there, deep within our consciousness, and it comes out. So the example of Coca-Cola is a very simple one, but actually we have millions and billions of unlimited desires, material desires. Abhilas. We have so many desires having become the servant of Maya. So we're, these desires are based on ignorance, on the ignorance of thinking that I can enjoy this material world. Therefore, the sadhus, they come with a knife. It's not supposed to be a person who simply smiles. All the flower and smiles. The knots of attachment that are within the heart. In the beginning, so when he first sees you, he says, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but that is also required. So only, in the beginning he may smile, but then he's only smiling. Then you can understand he's bogus. He's got, he doesn't know how to cut, actually. He himself requires cutting. <laughs> he should not a doctor. Actually speaking, 
uh, we, we do have independence, but without the help of gurus and sadhus, it's, it's probably, it's difficult to even know how to exercise that independence. We can't make proper decisions unless we have knowledge, chosen to live in a situation of ignorance. Any other question? Who is a liberated soul? Is that the question? Yes. Deha Smriti Nahi Ja Shamsa Bandhan Kahata This Narotan Darshtan says that who is not concerned with his with his body then he is not bound up in this material world. It means a Vaishnava may take care of his body. Prabhupada says that a Vaishnava take care, takes care of